Alright, hello, fun, and welcome back to my Fallout 4 mini series of Attack of the Lobotomites, where today we are right, we left off in the last episode inside of this surprisingly spacious underground mental institution, which is also kind of a weird concept, but, um, okay, okay, a uh, mental institution with a bunker. Uh, I mean, I guess it is uh, the Fallout world, so anything can happen. And we are, of course, kind of stuck in here right now because the brain security system has uh, shut the maglock doors over here, which we need to get through. And yeah, that means we've got to head downward. Not very far downward. In fact, yeah, we just got that door right there. I assume to hit some sort of control panel I can't see from up here. Interesting, interesting. But thankfully, we've got that hole there that should take us uh, down that way. And I'm very, very interested to see what all we're going to encounter besides, of course, the lobotomites. As we did discover in the last episode, that the Institute also has an interest in this place. And they, um, well, didn't do very well with investigating. <laughs> their courser and all their other units seem to have been annihilated. But I'm intrigued to see if we'll find any more Institute info about the place. And, of course... Why in the hell the Lobotomites are here on the East Coast anyways? Now, that being said, let's get to work and also switch guns. We have noticed in the last episode that, um, we're a little overpowered and overleveled for the, uh, level of Lobotomites we have been encountering. So let's go to a less powerful gun just to make it at least a little bit more interesting of a fight. Oh, let's see how this pans out. And do we actually have any down here? No. But there is a hollow tape. Hello, formal complaint logs. <laughs> 80 through 90. All right, well, let's play that. See what we got. Oh, it did this stupid bug. Oh, I always hate when this happens. All right, all right, there we go. Back in, back out. Oh, God, what was it called? <laughs> I think it started. Oh, thank God, it was right there. Right there at the top. BMRC formal complaint logs. There we are. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Welcome to our complaint system. Please give us BMRC formal complaint logs batch. I assume that there's supposed to be some, like, a feedback thing or something there. Oh, well, last log, Frank Leeds. All right, well, let's see what this one was on 32076. By Frank Leeds. All right. Oh, he's from the IT department. Hey, it's me again. A brain locked me out yet again from my terminal, and I had to reboot the system yet again. Please, anyone reading these, uh, forward this to administration Administrator Mathers and tell him about the brain budget thing again. It's urgent. All right. And number 81. What do we got? Another from Frank. Hey, Frank again, yet again. If we don't get an increased budget, the whole thing is going to fall to pieces. I don't want to be blamed for yet another nurse getting locked in with a patient by brain because the AI mistook her for a rabid bear or something. Next time it happens, it's on you. <laughs> oh, poor Frank. Oh, poor IT departments in general. All right. We got overflow error. All right. Lovely, lovely. You know, it looks identical to the corruption error we saw on other pages. In fact, we have a corrupted thing. Yeah, I mean, I don't remember all the numbers and such, but that looks identical to all the other errors. All right. And complaint number 90. Okay, well, let's see. You need to get an admin key card from this. Oh, oh, dear God. So we've got to go to all those other areas now. Okay, okay. <laughs> Oh boy, there's a start. Fuck you, Matters. I know you've been cutting my budget every single time I ask for an increase just so your shitty fucking facility AI doesn't go haywire and start killing everyone here. But no, you had to get the latest Corvega to drive around us peasants. Fuck you. Every fucking week I end up having to deal with brain and you keep ignoring my request. And I don't think you realize how much work is dis how much work is a disabling brain just so I can fucking fix it again? Every fucking week, I have to cut the auxiliary power at the bottom of the utility area. Ah, we're getting instructions. Wonderful. So the damn thing doesn't turn on by itself again every week. You move my workstation with all my stuff all the way to the Morgan living quarters. Wait, why is the Morgan living quarters? 
That seems creepy. Every time I cut to use the password generator, I have to go all the way there, and dear god the stench, I'll let you fucking guess why that's a bit inconvenient. Then I have to get the admin key card that you insisted that I couldn't be trusted with and gave it to your shitty guards in the staff rooms. And I couldn't even be trusted with the doctor key card or to even enter the lower brain mainframe area, which is where I actually should work, shithead. God, poor Frank. Instead, I gotta ask your pencil pushers that loiter all day in the patient cafeteria and rec area. And all of this just to shut down brains lockdown. I quit. Don't fucking call me. I hope the damn mainframe breaks again and traps you in your fucking fancy office forever. Oh, I hope we find his dead body in his fancy office. <laughs> oh, poor Frank. And yeah, that's admin for you. <laughs> yep, requires the keys. All right, well, well, that's how it leads us into the other areas we saw last episode. All right, where should we go first? Let's go this direction first. Also, man, the morgue in the living area. Ooh, wait, crap. Do I have to do it in the specific order? Huh. Huh. I'm kind of thinking I don't, but. We should probably do it in the order that it says on there. So it was the morgue first, right? Oh boy, hold on, hold on. It probably doesn't matter. It probably doesn't matter, but. <laughs> uh, cut the auxiliary power at the bottom utility area first, then the morgue workstation. All right, so which was utility? Oh, I can't see. Which one are you? Oh, that's cafeteria. Oh, that's where the, the pencil pushers loitering are. That's residential. What, wait, hold on. Which one was the utility? Wait, which one was back here? <laughs> oh, maintenance. Of course, of course. That's, ah, utility and storage. Got it. Yep, yep. I was so focused on the signs and thinking utility area. <laughs> okay. Well, let's quick save before going through just in case of a crash. I'm still very, very paranoid about that. All right, so we go here first, then residential to the morgue, then the cafeteria? Nah, I've already forgotten the order. <laughs> oh, well, we'll just, let's do it this way. <laughs> oh, boy, I really hope we do find that uh, a, a skeleton in that office, though. Oh, it'll be the best. It'll be the best. Good times, though. And if it did... Oh, I hear moaning already, of course. If it did, I'll get shut down, though. How the bandits get in here? Also, I hear gunfire. Yep, that's gunfire. Who's fighting? Oh. All right, what do we got? Oh, lobotomite husk. Hi. Oh, you got a gun. Die. Okay, even this gun may be a little bit overpowered for them. <laughs> I figured this one would be a good one because it's one of my lower powered weapons, but um, well, you know, it would be less power if it actually. Know what it hits, or doesn't hit rather? Uh, are you just hiding behind there now? Oh, there you are, and now you're ash. Neat. <laughs> all right, all right. What do we got? We got skulls, duct tape. Don't take any of that or that. He's got nothing fun on him. Yeah, I'm still hearing bullets somewhere. Ooh. Oh, that's just a bottle. I was about to say, ooh, whiskey. <laughs> no, that's just a bottle. Boring. Yep, yeah, already looted you. All right, it is also, let's actually see, how dark is it down here? Pretty dark. Pretty dark. All right, yep, light on. Ooh, red X, lovely. Still hearing a lot of bullets. What the heck is going on down here? No, nope, you're just a dead bandit. I didn't get anything on vats. Or raider, rather. What do we got? Nothing through here? Nothing here. Oh, we got an eliminator. Ooh. Hello? How dare you? <laughs> that doesn't seem to be doing any damage to him whatsoever. Oh, there's another one, though, that seems to have gotten at least a little bit of fire damage. All right, well, let's kill him. 
Lovely, lovely, and... Oh, I'm hearing a lot of them! Oh, jeez, yeah, that's a lot of them. All right, just more, more Molotovs for everyone. Enjoy. That is a lot of groaning. <laughs> oh, no, he's out of range. Okay, where are you? 65 on that headshot. Let's see if it works. Get it. All right, yeah, sure, we'll do that. Of course, the first missed. Take that, Giggler. <laughs> All right, we got one more over here. Another Giggler. Who's further down? Oh, there he is. There he is. Missed it. All right, well, he's dead. All right, there's still one more. With that annoying shrieking. <laughs> All right, he's a little bit further down right now. And boy, we got a lot of radiation in this area. God, I need to murder him just because the shrieking is annoying. <laughs> Hello? Enemy? Oh, there you are. <gasps> Lobotomite ticker, and he had a bomb strapped to his back. Oh, I'm glad he's dead. Okay. <laughs> I have a feeling that would have gone boom. Huh. Well, that's horrifying. All right, I'll take those. What else do we have back here? Also, let's uh, quick save. There we go. Good times, good times. Cosmic knife spear. No, I actually need a stem. There we go. Yep, switching up weapons made the fight a little bit more difficult for us, so I think we'll stick with this just to <laughs> so we're not so overpowered. Uh, those bottle caps. They all got a lot of crowns on them. Hmm. Nifty. Ooh, Radix. Nice. Alright, anything of value around here? I don't I don't like the look of you. No, it's just a brain fungus. I thought I was actually having an interaction thing with the, that for a moment, not noticing the brain fungus behind it. Cool, 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 cool. <laughs> All right, doesn't look like anything back there. Oh, wait, 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 wait. There was a little side office over here. Heck yeah. All right. Plasma. Don't need a desk fan. Boy, this place has definitely seen better days. <laughs> well, I guess when you're in an abandoned mental institution full of lobotomites, you know, not a lot of maintenance being done. <laughs> no, don't need you. I mean... I have aluminum mark, but that's about it. All right. Oh, let's grab that. And you. It looks like we had some little offices in here. Yeah, let's take some Nuka Cola. Oh, never mind. I thought <laughs> when we were in here before, just with a brief look at things, I thought those were like cubicle walls. No, it's the laundry. It's the laundry. <laughs> Okay, that makes a lot more sense. Okay, all right. Boy, that's a tight laundry area, though. I do not feel like looking in all these washers and dryers. <laughs> all right. Oh, God. Now we gotta go through here? We got a cave? All right, it wasn't a very big cave. <laughs> Still, it's the principle of the matter. Oh, uh, great. More, more muttering and screaming. Can I see them? I cannot see them. Dang. Oh, I see him. No, well, they're gone now. I lost him. Stop the shrieking. Oh, no, how dare you. Don't you dare run away into that tunnel where I can't shoot you. Ow. Oh. I hit the wall. I hit the wall. Ow, oh, they're out. They're free. <laughs> Dang it. Oh, man. That last shot hitting the corner of the wall. Or wait, did they move? No, never mind. They didn't go into the tunnel. No, they ran back into the tunnel, though. Come on. Come on back. Get him. Wow, they're... Yeah, the weird, uh... <laughs> like, sparking that all happens whenever they die. Wow, the, the lighting sometimes really gets weird on that. Not seeing any others, but I am hearing more murmuring. One of these. Mega Wolfenite Crystal. 
Okay, I have a... F I mean, I'm gonna mine it, but let's see a quick save there. Hey, I got Mega Wolf and it didn't crash. <laughs> Ooh, that's Mega Wolf and Knight too. I don't know why I'm grabbing that. Is, do we have a purpose for that at some, place, at some point? I don't know. Alright, well. Let's take those. And... Oh, crap, 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 crap. Why do I always fall for those? <laughs> every time. Every time. I just wanted to see if there was anything up there and, you know, check that ammo box. But no. No, I fall for a trap. Every time. <laughs> oh, that's a couple of them. Here, have some tops. Oh, and I threw it on there. All right. <sighs> All right, we got a fair few. Let's take out this loony. He's a little bit higher level than some of the others we've been facing. We've seen a lot of level ones. He's a level 18. I cannot see him down there now. Oh, there he is. Sweet. And you. I thought I saw you. Of course, it's a miss. We got the second shot, though. All right, he's dead. Sweet. All right, ignore the rest. You hear more murmuring up somewhere? Huh. Weird. Jet and duct tape? No, I don't need either. What do we got over here, though? No, oh, Jesus! <laughs> I was about to say, do I hear something running? Oh, hi! <laughs> Botched toe! Wow, oh boy! He just disintegrated in one. Huh. Okay. Botched toe, huh? That's an interesting one. Cranial telecoil. Weird. He was, I think, the most interesting looking one we've encountered so far. That was kind of nifty. Alright, well, back to the looting here. I grabbed you. Don't need jet or medics. Don't need any of you. Alright, down the tunnel we go. Alright, and we're almost there. Nope, don't harvest the brain fungus. Don't need that. Let's do a quick save. God, I hope there's an easy way back. With my luck, I'm just going to have to go the whole route, though. Oh, boy. All right. Oh, hey. Uh, this is the other side of this. Oh, maybe there is an easier way back. Can I blow this up? <laughs> We're not going to be able to, are we? <gasps> Never mind. There's a way to climb through. Ha, ha, ha. Yes. Thank you, map designer. <laughs> Yay. We can probably break these, right? Shoot them. Yeah. Beautiful and some ammo containers I didn't see before. Take you and you, but first, of course, I have to go through this door. <laughs> oh, thank you for an easy way back. That's so wonderful. All right, what do we got? We got a gimp. Who's muttering? Hello. He was already damaged. I guess we did hear shooting earlier. And boom. Nice. Death rattle. <laughs> yeah, their murmurings and death rattles and such are much louder than they really should be. <laughs> Alright, reload. What do we got here? Yay, things. Medex. Oh! Proton Axe Configuration Hollow Tape? Fuse Box Fixer? What? Oh god, have we missed other hollow tapes that I didn't notice around? Oh no, what is what is this? Nice. You found a configuration hollow tape for the Proton Axe computer. Install it to add chance of paralysis on enemies. Wait, what? Oh, I guess maybe if we get or make a Proton Axe, I kind of assume, since we can find those Wolfenite crystals that we did, that maybe we could modify it with Hollow tapes? Nifty. Just let me, I'm out of curiosity here. That's considered a mod. It's a modification. Hey, that's what I thought. <laughs> All right, nifty. I mean, we don't have one of those, but cool. Oh, that's, I have a bad feeling about in there. 
I know it just auto-saved, but still. Oh, great, some radiation. There was that hazmat suit and a lot of radex and such. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, yeah, I did see that radiation suit out there. I guess this is the reactor for the place. I mean, I heard. Hello, Bottomite. Oh, there you are. Hi. Pest Tilly. Oh, we actually got a tough one here. Hold on. Please let it make it through that those support beams. Yes! <laughs> well, they're dead now. They had friends, though, apparently. Just to make sure. All right, all right, hold on, hold on. There's, There we go. Oh, a glowing Oh, that's why there was fighting in here. That's why there was fighting in here. Got it, got it, got it. The lobotomites and some ghouls were going at one another. Okay, that makes sense now. I was wondering about all the gunshots. Ah, they're still up there. They're still up there. But where? Where the hell is this one? Apparently they're further up? What? I think one of them may be glitched in a wall or something. <laughs> Ooh, a lot of rads over here. A lot of rads over here. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> I mean, we still got the rad X going. Let's take some rad away. Get to you. Yeah, that's a lot. Broken electrified proton axe. Maybe I can use that for making a better Electron X later. Oh, there's Tilly. Oh, they have unique things. Okay. What's this bell? Bracing ionized gloves. Protects from radiation better. Adds red damage to your unarmed strikes. Nifty. What's the bell? Oh, the punchy thing. Nah, I don't care. <laughs> yeah, I don't care about that. Oh, oh, yeah, they do have, like, an old-school uh, Plague Doctor's mask. Look at that, nifty. I wish I could take it, but I'm too afraid to loot any lobotomite thing from a lobotomite. <laughs> Since, like I said last time, that has a tendency to crash things. All right, we'll just leave it as is. And just absorb all of this radiation. My God. <laughs> okay, get away from here, get away from here, get away from here before I die. Oh, my. There we go. And then a stim. Beautiful. Let's go back to you. Yeah, that's a, that's a lot, a lot of radiation over there. Okay, let's go do the thing and actually shut down the power. Yeah, I really want those things, though, but no, I'm too afraid of it crashing on me. All right, cut circuit breaker. Sweet. That one's done. Anything over here? Ooh. Hello, hello, hello. All right. So we do have some named boss type enemies around, which is nifty in that Tilly character we found. So I'm intrigued to see. I assume we're going to have one of those named ones per area as like a mini zone boss. But unfortunately for them, they still weren't very powerful oh god you know what i kind of want to risk it and risk a crash and take those unique items because they look pretty neat oh boy let's give it a go we're 24 minutes in i mean it's not bad it's just a quick save right there and then i'm intrigued by her doctor's mask oh it didn't crash i don't care about her bell though or her other things really it's just that one that i care about the gloves kind of seem fun. I'm out. I'm out. Oh, my God. All the radiation. <laughs> oh, that's a lot of radiation. Okay. Another one of you and another one of you. All right. Let's get out. Let's, let's go back through here. Get back into the main area. And I want to take a look at this mask in more detail. Oh, and thank you, Mod Maker. Oh, thank you for the easy way back. 
You are magnificent. <laughs> I love you so. All right. Back into the main central room. Neat. All right. So, yeah, considering we are like about 25-ish minutes now, looking like each one of these areas might be an episode, depending. Who knows? Maybe one of them will be a lot quicker or one of them might be a lot longer. But, hey, works for me. <laughs> Ooh, oh, God, what? Just some things falling. All right, all right. So, since we have some more light in this area here, let's take a look at this mask. Uh, and the gloves. Hello. I mean, it's for unarmed strikes, which I never do, and they're slippery, apparently. <laughs> okay. Oh, that takes over my whole marine wetsuit? <laughs> nope. <laughs> I was about to say, I was kind of wondering if they'd be like a, an additional armor slot, because some mods do add that kind of stuff in. Granted, they usually require one of the other mods as a prerequisite if they do that. I'm forgetting the name of it now. What was it? AWKCR or something along those lines. Because, um, yeah, we don't actually have a glove slot, but apparently, no. It's my whole body outfit slot. Cool. Well, what about this mask? Zoom in. A lot of potential modifications on it, and that's as far as I can zoom in. Honestly, not that bad as stat-wise. There are a lot of things. A lot of stuff you can change animated effects. What? <laughs> Neat. Let's put it on. Of course, it took over. It made me bald. Ooh, I'm blue. You know, turn off my lights real quick. Does that actually create light? No, it is just it is just a light effect. Nifty. <laughs> kind of strange though. Kind of strange. Huh. Well, I mean, I'm actually intrigued. Hold on a moment. Is there a workbench anywhere in here? I don't remember seeing one, but there might be. As I'm intrigued, what uh, sort of modifications these can have? You know, there it, there was probably a maintenance bench or something or a workbench down in the maintenance bay I would think I don't see anyone here Oh dang well that's unfortunate I don't remember one upstairs either well for now let's put it back on our marine combat helmet because well we're in combat there we go no honestly the only thing this adds more is more electrical defense and more uh, physical defense but then we miss out on the other things it has. And perception. Ooh. Still, it kind of ruins the vibe of my whole marine armor assault marine suit here. God, I love this stuff. My favorite armor in the game. <laughs> it's magnificent. All right. Well, I think this is going to be a good place to end this episode. Let's actually, well, first take a look back at the, um, at the complaint here, because I still want to do these in the order that he did, just in case. Just in case. So we did the auxiliary power cut. So next is the morgue in the living quarters. So we need to go over here, was it, I think? Yeah, living quarters. All right, so that is where we're going to head next episode, and depending on how that one goes, I mean, that might be... Okay, that was just environmental sound. I was about to say, was there someone here? <laughs> But yes, in the next episode, we'll move on over there and uh, check to see what we may have in store. It could just be a short bit or a long bit. Who knows? But, you know, with how this one went today, I'm thinking that might be the next episode. I'm hoping, actually. That'd be convenient for me. But <laughs> well, that's going to be it for today. Hopefully you all have enjoyed. You do come back for the next one. But until that time, thank you for watching. As always, we'll have a good one.